from the, the consumer point of view, what are the rules on labeling? Are there any rules? And The FDA does not require that uh, dairy farmers who use RBGH label their products. So you won't ever see RBGH being labeled on a product. So for people who don't use RBGH, there are two options. Mm -hmm. It can either be organic, which means it is RBGH free, but that it also has no pesticides or, or antibiotics used. Then there's conventional RBGH free, which is where you would look for a label on the product. We have several examples of RBGH free labeling. The first is from Alpenrose Dairy, and they note RBST free. And again, RBST is the same as RBGH free. Mm -hmm. Dairy Gold notes this milk comes from cows not treated with the growth hormone RBST. Nancy's Yogurt has a statement, a farmer's pledge of care. Our milk comes to you from local dairy farms who pledge not to use RBGH, an artificial growth hormone. And lastly, Ben and Jerry's ice cream makers note, we oppose recombinant bovine growth hormone. So hmm. those are just some examples. Now, I encountered a different label yesterday when I bought a gallon of milk. It had the, um, this product is RBGH free, but then there was a little printing that said something, but the FDA says there's no significant difference between the milk that has it and doesn't. What, what's that all about? Right, you might notice an asterisk by the RBGH free label, and that takes you to a disclaimer that the FDA recommends, although it's not required. It basically states that milk from RBGH free cows is not significantly different from cows treated with RBGH. Oregon PSR strongly disagrees with this disclaimer because of the scientific data that we've been talking about today. Will we generally pay more in the grocery store for the hormone free product? If it's organic, then that's generally the most expensive. Conventional RBGH free milk is usually somewhere between regular conventional milk and organic products. Well, in the Pacific Northwest, it seems like there's a trend of companies that are going the direction of the hormone free. Um, if they're not there already, at least they're started. Starbucks, Safeway, but uh, what's happening nationwide? There is an explosion nationwide mm. in dairies going RBGH free. This is due to a few factors. One of them is that there's a trend towards more sustainably produced mm -hmm. in, in organic food products. The other is that the more consumers know about RBGH, the more they want to avoid this product. So the dairies are listening to their customers. Hmm, that's, that's a good thing. Um, how do you react though? I've got to ask you, I've heard this complaint that some of the people who are opposed to this hormone are just opposed to a lot of new scientific advances and they're, they're just you know, crying wolf over here. What, what do you say to those people? Right, the argument that if you're opposed to RBGH, then you're opposed to technology in general is just ridiculous. Especially for me as a physician, I use new technology all the time. So it would be kind of like saying that if I don't like hip hop music, then I don't like music in general. It just doesn't make any sense. What can um, people who are out there now, they've heard this and they want to read more, how can they get more information? One is if you go to our website, www.oregonpsr.org, you can click on the Campaign for Safe Food and then you can click on the Know Your Milk and there's this eight page brochure which highlights most of the information we've been talking about today. And of course, we encourage people, if they're buying dairy products, to look for RBGH-free products. The other way you can get more involved is to tell your family and friends about this issue because it, because it affects almost everyone. There are also other organizations mm -hmm. which have good information, such as Food and Water Watch. They have a link on their website that lists all RBGH-free products state by state. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes. I would like to take a moment to thank all of the experts in the United States and Canada who have made this campaign possible. These include doctors, nurses, government leaders, dairy processors, retailers, and dairy farmers. And they've all been advisors to this process over the last few years. 
And I'd also like to note that I'm talking to you today as a physician, but also as a mother. Mm. I have a beautiful 15-month-old boy, and it's one of my top priorities to make sure that he grows up to be as healthy as possible. So I want to avoid RBGH, and I only purchase RBGH-free products. Dr. Jenny Pompilio, the Oregon Physicians for Social Responsibility, thanks for joining us. Thank you.